Hey, it's Mike, Backyard Pioneer. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing EDC. Uh, last week I ran an EDC week, gear week on, on Facebook. A couple of questions popped up from people, mainly what do I carry personally on me every day. Uh, EDC is a personal thing, depends on what you do. I, I think there's some basics everyone should cover. Um, I have said before on my channel and, and on Facebook that I'm a lineman. So my EDC is going to be different than, say, if I worked in an office. Plus, what I can carry at work, it's more acceptable in the workplace. I can carry a large folding knife if I want. Uh, flashlights, no one bats an eye because we do work at night. We work underground, stuff like that. Uh, the Leatherman, I converted a bunch of guys I work with to carrying Leathermans that didn't carry them in the past. So I, I kind of just give you a quick overview of what's in my pockets. We'll try to keep this short and sweet. Um, I start my EDC every day with a decent folding knife. Right now I'm rocking the Delica 4. Full, full flat ground version. Um, I've had this one a couple of years. As you can see, it's been through the ringer. Uh, it's VG10 steel, VG10 steel, just decent Japanese steel. It's not top of the line anymore. I'm not ultra premium, ultra trick by any means, but it gets the job done. It's a softer steel, so I find it sharpens really easily, which is important to me in the field every day. A lot of stuff I have to cut, and I think everyone needs to look at. If you're open, just this thing would maintain a razor sharp edge if I was opening the mail every day. But I cut a lot of wet sandy rope and that plays hell on a knife. And I found VG10 steel does hold up well to that. And like I said, I can sharpen it pretty easily. I've carried other knives, uh, some other steels I like. S30V I think is a premium steel, really nice. But I won't even turn up my, I won't turn my nose up at something like an Aus 8 or something like that. As long as I can get a, a decent edge, it doesn't have to be the, the best steel in the world. I do like M4 though on my Benchmade Contigo. I don't have that with me, but this is a knife I think everyone can can get by with carrying. It's small, it, it, you get it in a, in a color, you're not whipping something out that screams tactical ninja, super cool, mall guy. Uh, you know, I, I have a little lanyard on it, my skull bead broke off and went somewhere, I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. But th this is, you know, super light, maintains a super sharp edge, and you find this in my pockets most days these days. My EDC has changed a little bit over the years, unless I'm testing a knife. If this is the one you'll find of something maybe a little smaller. Uh, I don't tend to carry the big knives anymore, I gotta admit. I'll have one on me in my pack uh, over here. You know, I have a decent fixed blade and I do have a bigger folder in there just in case I need it. But most days this does get me through the day and like I said, it doesn't really, doesn't really uh, turn heads or anything anymore. At least where I work. As a lineman, like I said, the company issues us knives so we can get away with a lot of stuff. I uh, go a little folder, like I said, I, I, a little further, I start every day with a folder. Uh, I carry a flashlight. Uh, this is a little Fenix, this is the E12. This is a single AA, fits nicely in your pocket, provides a decent amount of light. Uh, I think this one can give you up to 170 lumens, three modes. No, nothing super fancy, no no strobes or anything like that. If I feel I need a bigger, bigger light or if I'm working at night, I will carry something bigger. In fact, right now, what I, I got in for testing, and this was from Flashlights with a Z. Um, just want to give a shout out to them and thank them, thank them a lot for uh, encouraging, having faith in me to do a, a good test uh, on the Claris or a review. So this is the Claris. This is the XT12. I really like this one. It has an external charging. This isn't something you'd find in my pocket every day. Like I said, if I'm working nights, this goes in a coat pocket, or I will find a place to carry it on me if I think I'm going to need it. But I don't generally need... As you see, 930 lumens during the day. I love these big rechargeables. I love that this one, you don't have to take the battery out to charge it. I didn't think I was going to be a huge fan of it. But the magnetic attachment I find is pretty amazing. So like I said, this is like the upper end of what I would consider EDC. But again, I would only carry it in select situations. And you'd find this more in my pack. Um, I'm really digging this light so far. I'm going to look for a more detailed review later on. Um, so covered knife, covered flashlights. I carry a Leatherman, and even my Leathermans I've downsized lately. When, when I was when I was younger, or maybe just first getting into preparedness and EDCing stuff, you know, I, I went right to the to the. I think I started off carrying a Charge TTI titanium, you know, hundred plus dollar, basically like Batman in a Batman's utility belt in your pocket. Um, I've gone out of my way to find these. These are actually they stopped making the regular Juice S2. Um, they have a newer one out, which is really nice, but I just happen to love these. So if I come across one of these that I find a good deal on in the aftermarket, I'll jump on them. You know, opens up nice. These get a lot of use, a lot of things uh, accomplish a lot with a pair of pliers. I like, you know, it's got your screwdriver bits on the inside. It's 
got a Phillips head over here. Um, gives me a backup blade on my person in case I need it. Gives me a can opener in case I need it. Just, I mean, it doesn't come in too often in the field. This is a decent blade. It's a no name, you know, it's a, probably like a 440 or a 420 stainless. It gets the job done. I'm not looking, I'm not asking uh, hack through car doors with this blade or anything like that. This is just a neat little pocket tool to have. I find you a multitude once you start carrying one i don't think you ever be without it really replaced swiss army knives as far as i'm concerned and the 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 juice s2 is probably my favorite by far um another thing i started carrying that you might think is long i started carrying hanky um i always remember my dad carrying he always carried white cotton ones i've gotten a little bit cooler than that uh I, as people know i'm a zombie freak so mine zombies this was made by a guy brown bag beard company um he also makes hankies uh i actually started this carrying one of these again because of the kids you'd be surprised you know i got, I got two little boys and running around and snotty noses and, and scraped up knees this this thing's seen its fair share of, of blood and guts i guess you could say um you know multitude of uses for it you gotta makeshift cover your mouth if you have to um Anything you can do with a bandana, you think of it, you could do with a, uh, a hank. It's just a little bit smaller and it fits in your pocket nice. And like I said, I started carrying stylish ones. I guess, you know, I'm a dude, I can't have babies, so I may carry crazy hanks. That's about what I got. Um, other stuff I've EDC'd in the past, you know, I, I know you guys come up with these huge lists. I, I don't like to carry a ton of that stuff in my pocket. I'm never too far from my truck, um, as you can see. I got my work bag sitting right there. I got a kukri on it. I know we talk about common sense, but it's something that I'm testing out and do a bigger review for the for the blog, working in you know out in the garden and stuff like that, taking it out in the woods. I do like a little bushcraft stuff, and I focus on urban and suburb, suburban kind of preparedness. Um, what else do I want to add to that? That's about it. I mean, you know, spare battery never never hurts. I got a couple of band aids in my in my pocket. A little duct tape stuck in my. Uh, in my wallet and you, you can get a lot of stuff accomplished with that i think you kind of have to base it on reality um i live in new york so for a concealed carry is not an option for me i do have a concealed carry permit for uh, i think it's utah so it gives me rep recipro reciprocity in a lot of states but here in new york that's no good you know you just have to throw harsh words at people if they're gonna look to do you harm but hopefully I get out of new york one of these days so that, that limits me. If I lived in a state where I concealed carry, I would conceal carry. I'm a strong believer in the Second Amendment. I think responsible gun ownership is one of the planks of, you know, our country. And I, I, I believe in that. And I would want to be able to defend my family in, just in case. I know, talk about common sense, but I do have a fire extinguisher too. So I, I kind of say I would carry a firearm if I could. So I'm going to leave it at that. I said, it comes down to a good knife. A good flashlight and a good multi-tool. This will get you through most of the day. Yeah, I would love to carry backups. I have bigger, more capable versions in my bag, in my truck, or my car. But that's what you're going to have on me 90% of the time. I have started to get into a little bit of nicer stuff in case we're going out. You know, I'm not a kid anymore, so if I do have to wear a suit, I have a nice bench made that I like to carry with me. That pocket, uh, maybe the four sevens prion. I do have a couple of AAA flashlights. I have to divest myself some of my flashlights. They're starting to stack up in the safe and pocket knives and stuff like that. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this little impromptu in the truck session. Uh, looking at me, I'm kind of seeing how that goes. Uh, maybe we'll riff on some other stuff, depending on kind of the results I get with this video. So thanks a lot. Take care. Be well.